A lot of what I'm going to tell you in this video is not what to expect. Some viewers may say that I'm not impartial on the subject, since my family was a crime victim in the city twice in only two days. So to be impartial, I use plenty of objective, reliable data to answer the question, is Athens in Greece is still safe in 2023? I will also take a lot of care since we are talking about one of the most visited cities in Europe. Hopefully, the head of police in Athens will not call a press conference just to tell that he's angry with my channel like the police of a certain British city had done, Bradford. But I respect your time, and here is the short answer. Yes, Athens is relatively safe if you compare it to Rio de Janeiro or New Orleans, but not by European standards. In some places that we will discover today, the chance of becoming a victim of crime is considerably higher. Athens is lovely in many aspects and areas, like Plaka, and it is still one of the most beautiful capitals in Europe. Check my video where I rank the top 20. But certain tourist areas have plenty of scammers, pickpocketers, and worse. Are you planning a trip to Athens? Want to know about safety at night or when you are alone? Curious about places to avoid? So keep watching, because today we will talk about the dangerous areas in the Greek capital. By the way, if this video has enough likes, so I'll we'll make more about other European and North American cities. And back to the subject of unsafe areas in Athens, we start with Omonia, where we learn why hotels for discounted prices in shady places may not be a good idea. Years ago, I spent months planning a road trip with my parents that would go from Croatia to Greece. We arrived in Athens, it would be the first place on the entire trip where we would stay in a nice hotel. The reviews of its cleanliness, staff, value for money, and everything else were sky high, except for one factor, location. I wondered why the hotel location was poorly evaluated. It was so close to the central zone that it looked very convenient, so I reserved it anyway. Big, big mistake. In one day, my father was encircled by a group of teenagers who stole his phone and ran away. As a precaution, I stopped walking with documents so someone would not steal them. The other day, a few minutes after, I parked my car in front of the hotel and went to help my mom go down the stairs. Someone broke the rear window and stole my luggage and backpack, including all my money and some documents. But before any Greek viewer comments, you are putting your own capital in a bad light? Not everywhere in Athens is like Homonia. You're right. But unfortunately, there are other places like Homonia. There is also Vati, an area just northwest of Homonia that has similar problems, although likely in a smaller proportion. There is also Exarchea. It's a rundown, largely neglected part of the city where you should keep an eye on your belongings and be aware of your surroundings. Areas close to train stations also should tend to be not safe at night. But which crimes are the most common in these parts of Athens? Here is the good news. You will likely not be murdered. The homicide rate is a meager 0.94 murders per 100,000 residents per year. This is way below many cities in Europe like Stockholm or Paris. But there is a huge problem with analyzing only murder rates. It doesn't consider other crimes like burglaries, robberies, or assaults. These types of crimes are considerable there. So these are the most common crimes that may affect you in these parts of Athens. Omonia has a reputation for petty crimes such as pickpocketing and purse snatching. More serious crimes such as muggings and drug dealing are also not uncommon. Vati, well, this port neighborhood is home to a large immigrant community and it has a reputation for being a bit rough around the edges. Petty crime is common there, as is drug dealing. There also have been reports of gang violence in recent years. Exarchea has a reputation for being a bit lawless. Petty crime vandalism and property damage are most common. Would I visit the Athens again, despite what happened to my family there? Absolutely. Despite all the problems I had there, yes, definitely Athens is worth visiting. It's the birthplace of philosophy, Western civilization, and even the Olympics. Athens is a city that almost everyone should visit, 
and Greece at large too. That's not just because of the Acropolis, although that's something everyone should see. One could spend days to explore just a district of this metropolis, a word that, by the way, derives from the Greek language. So now we'll tell you some neighborhoods that you should consider if you are visiting Athens. However, before we begin, I would like to ask a small favor. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Plaka Plaka is Athens' equivalent to Europe's historic old towns like Rome or Prague. It's a vibrant hub of Greek culture, history and art, with landmarks from the ancient Agora to Byzantine churches. You can enjoy pedestrian streets with cafes and tavernas conveniently near metro stops. However, its location means higher hotel prices. Syntagma Square is ideal for first-time visitors to Athens. It's central, connect to the city and close to attractions like the Panathenaic Stadium. The region square has many interesting Greek restaurants and cafes. However, be cautious of scams and don't purchase things from strangers in the square. Kolonaki. If you are looking for a more luxurious, trendy place, then Kolonaki is where you should look for a hotel. It's a district surrounded by remarkable cafes, museums and monuments. Kolonaki offers a lively and cosmopolitan environment that attracts visitors worldwide but it's also one of the most expensive areas in Athens. Kulkaki Kulkaki is the ideal location if you are searching for a walkable area. The Acropolis and Acropolis Museum are the main attractions in this part. There are several pedestrian areas here and most sites can be reached by foot. You may walk kilometers around the Acropolis without seeing any cars. So, what are your opinions about Athens? Have you ever visited there? Tell us your experiences in the comment section and subscribe to our channel for the next video where we discuss a certain country that lately is in the spotlight.